What is this? This is not a bass, is it? It is a bass. Yeah, here's another one. Ooh. Come on. There we go. Yes. Right to the bottom. It's about six feet. Hops. And as you see, I'm going this way, and I'm I'm casting behind the boat, and we're just letting this track. I'm just giving that some more line. What is this? This is not a bass, is it? It is a bass. Oh. Oh. oh, what is it? Okay, easy. Finally. Finally. Easy now, girl. Easy now, girl. Look at that hook. Oh, it's a little white color too. There we go. Got one out. On the Ned rig. Finally, man, it's been a long time since I caught a fish. Holy shite. Nice. We're gonna let this guy go. That's awesome. Awesome. Oh, that was a, that was a long slump. You definitely needed that. So what happened was I've been trying out this Ned rig um, for a while now, and I just noticed some, some blow ups have been coming up here really along this so i would assume that this would be the channel right this deeper kind of area and uh and what i started to do was kind of cast in front of me the problem is when i'm retrieving it it's kind of going upstream see there's another blow up um so what i did is start going a little bit casting this way so like kind of trailing me and then i would do short hops um to to bring it back to the boat and then once I did that, I started feeling a little, you know, a few bites here and there, and boom, this one just nailed it on the on the third or fourth hop. And I landed myself a fish, which was pretty awesome. Definitely needed coming out of that slump. Um, wow. <laughs> like I, I don't even know really what to say. It's been a while, so uh, definitely needed that fish. Good times. Hello YouTube, it is Justin again from The Real Justin and I am back out here again. Of course, what else would I be doing, right folks? Man, I just had a really, really rough and frustrating day at my day job and uh, <laughs> what better cure than to, uh, to finish up, wrap up and get back on the water. It's a little windy as you can see and I'm back at the other side of um, other, other side of uh, Walton Ferry. So I'm actually at Drake's Creek right now. I did fish that a, a couple of days ago. I was able to break a slump. But man, we're out here again. It is very windy. Water, as you can see, is kind of chocolatey. So visibility is kind of low. And it doesn't matter. I don't even care. If I don't catch any fish today, which I'd like to, but if I don't catch any fish today, that's okay. I just need to get out there. You know, you need one of those days or, you know, you need, you need to go out and relief some stress some people like running some people like lifting weights some people like punching things um, those are okay I like looking at these and throwing a lure at it and see if I can catch anything that's my stress relief anyways let's get to it no uh, no more negativity let's just enjoy the time so guys I'm not too sure if you can see I'm in right in the middle part of this creek and 
I seem to be on some sort of like ledge, some high ledge. Look how deep this water is. See the paddle? It just hit the ground. See that paddle? That's how shallow this place is. Now, the idea is I'm gonna let this current take me down to where, uh, to where the bridge is. And I'm just gonna let uh, nature do the work here. And hopefully I'm gonna catch some of these channels uh, there's there's two deep channels as as far as I understand that, that are coming down through here and the idea is that is that it, because it is sunny the fish are either going to be in those channels or they're going to be on the bank somewhere but the bank again is very 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 shallow I thought I might as well take my chances uh, out here anyway yeah here's another one oh come on now Get him in the boat. There we go. Easy, buddy. I'm gonna let you go soon. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. Ow. Whew. Here we go. Another one. Ned rig. Same color, really. I like Ned Rigs. Oh, much needed. Oh, okay. So now we're finding out the pattern here. Um, the water level across the board when I put it in was pretty low. It's like less than two feet. So I was feeling kind of dicey coming out here. But then uh, you head in the middle of the channels here and they get, they get like drastically deeper and you're seeing some blow-ups over here so around you know kind of like there's two channels that kind of go through the side up here and uh you just we're just dropping we're just dropping some stick baits and hopping them on the bottom and we're letting the current drag and i'm casting it behind as so i'm trailing i'm trailing the boat basically um so it's going downstream with the current and yeah we got lucky on a couple of hops and there's a second fish of the day There we go. Yes. Yes. There we go. That's it. Get him over here. Come on, little man. Okay. Okay. There we go. Not bad. One and a half, two pounds, maybe. Starting to understand this Ned rig and just getting this pattern down tight. Not bad. It's good. Okay. Let's get back in the water. Much needed stress relief. <laughs> right here, this this little stick bait and this Ned rig jig head. It's getting the job done. This hook is tearing up this bait, though. I'll tell you what. All I'm doing is casting like the, the current again. So similar to the other day, the, the, the current again is taking me one way downstream, and I'm trying to cast parallel, if not a little behind me. And I'm gonna let that sink to the bottom, and it's just small hops on the bottom. You know, this is this is about maybe six, seven feet deep. Small hops on the bottom, just trailing. And you feel it with the rod as soon as it hits the bottom and you keep just keep doing that and uh it's thumping it's thumping the bottom there and it's getting fish attention and they're hammering it i mean these are really good hook sets these are not 
you know, like they're, they're, they're swallowing this thing. And that last one put up a real good fight. So that's all, just this. Nothing too crazy. I'm just letting the, uh, letting the current do the work for me. Finding those deep pockets. It. I am now a like a serious believer in this Ned rig. This current isn't this current isn't no this current isn't a joke either is what I'm saying. Like this is a serious current. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Oh boy. No, oh, stay down, man. Stay down. Oh. Stay down. Barely hooked. Oh no. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, that a boy. And they're all like relatively the same size on this thing. Easy now. This is a tough one. Oh, what a hook. Man, you all look like the same, don't you? Nice fish. Felt like a big one. I mean, a way bigger one than this, but it's a good size. We'll take it. Right? Now we'll let you go too. All right. Oh man, he smashed that. He absolutely smashed that. I don't know, I guess this looks enticing to a fish. You know, another thing about this is because of the weight and the way that that stick bait is shaped, that, you know, that jig head is going to go head down and the, uh, the, the Ned Rick, sorry, the, uh, the other end of the, of the stick bait is going to stick up, you know, like a standing French fry. And, you know, plus that with the current, it, it looks just super, you know, super active and super natural. And then plus, you know, we got this, we got this mixture of, you know, a green pumpkin color, you know, with some orange speckles. And then on the bottom is like a bright, you know, green, I would call tar chartreuse color. And, you know, that's becoming a little bit more visible, you know, with these, uh, you know, with these colored water conditions here. So, I mean, I can't say anything bad about this bait. This bait is like legit. So this is definitely going to go into the repertoire, for sure, for sure, for sure. Oh, oh, please tell me that's something. Oh. Oh. Come on now, is that anything? No, it is a snag. Is it? Oh man, come on, I feel something. Nah, it feels like a snack. Gosh darn trees. I wonder, it was like a little branch and it moved and it felt like a fish. Oh man, I thought that was like the one of the century. Well, the one of the day. Uh, one of the week. One of the week. So the current pushed me all the way down to this bridge. I'm gonna see if I can try to get under it. Maybe do a bit of casting. Oh man, this is sweet. Just gotta be careful. 
be in the center. The noise you're hearing is cars going above us. Well, it's a nice little adventure, for sure. Like, look how nice that is. But, um... I don't feel any bites coming up here. So we're gonna, we're gonna fish this for a little while longer, and then, uh, if nothing, we're gonna try to head back, fish the bridge, and call it a day. Now, this current has pushed me, like, at least two miles. And now I'm like at the very, or close to the, the tip where it really narrows off from Drake Creek, Drake's Creek. Man, I mean, you think maybe on a hot, hot, sunny day, maybe midday, this place would probably be packed with fish. There's just so much going on around here. Something to explore when, uh, you know, when I'm out here on a hot, hot, sunny day. We're just gonna try to work some more water and figure out if there's any more bite to be had before, before we're throwing the towel. So, <clears throat> nothing, uh, nothing biting on this side. It's late in the day. Now this is a, a very finicky little area back here, but pretty cool to, to paddle through. I mean, there's gotta be some activity at some point in the day around this bridge. This bridge is just calling for just a safe haven for fish. <sighs> so that's something that uh, I'm gonna keep on the, keep on the radar the next time I come out here. <clears throat> now it's the difficult part of paddling upstream to try to get back to my put-in. <sighs> I'm sure you don't wanna be sitting around watching me do this. in the woods.